All right, battlers, we finally reached rank 10 in the Go Battle League. These are my final two sets with Defense Deoxys, Altaria, and Purified Sableye. I've got my team up there on the left side of the screen. Defense form Deoxys is my lead with counter, rock slide, and thunderbolt. I do have Altaria in the middle with dragon breath, sky attack, and dragon pulse. And finally, I have Sableye in the back with shadow claw, foul play, and yes, return. So in this first matchup, we see my defense Deoxys lead right into that Toxicroak. This is actually a pretty close matchup, so I'm just gonna match shields here. And then I try to catch the sludge bomb with Sableye, but it doesn't quite work out for us, our timing is not exactly perfect so that Bastidon is going to come out here and I don't really see any reason to spend my last shield on Sableye especially considering that Deoxys is going to counter down this Bastidon pretty easily and this Bastidon has a ton of play against my Altaria so I cannot allow it to face off against my flying type. Going to go ahead and wait down that switch timer, bring in Deoxys here, and my opponent did have some extra energy so I go ahead straight for the rock slide and then one more counter is going to KO it. My opponent does come in with Toxicroak and the dreaded Azumarill comes out. This is not what I want to see. My team isn't particularly strong against Azumarill. You will notice I do have Thunderbolt on Deoxys and then in match two of this set, you're going to see return hit Azumarill. And it, while it's nice, this team is not very strong against it. So seeing Azumarill in the back is really troublesome for me. I was seeing it a lot in the lead, which you will see later on in the video. And that's actually not too bad for us. But in this game, this is really bad news bears for us. Uh, Altar Altaria gets farmed down my opponent is going to fire off this ice beam and then make a really quick swap here or excuse me not quite yet i'm going to shield up this attack here trying to play this matchup as long as i can but as soon as my shield is gone my opponent swoops in with toxicroak and mud bombs deoxys Jumping into game two, defense form Deoxys into Regi Steel. This is exactly what I want to see. Deoxys is a counter user and these attacks will add up. I typically don't shield this first flash cannon, but my opponent does something really sneaky there, going into Haunter, trying to farm down Deoxys. I go right into Sableye and we have to call it Shadow Ball or Shadow Punch. We call it correctly. It was the Shadow Ball. Going to go ahead and farm down the rest of the Haunter. Now, this is why I love Return on Sableye. Look at how much damage this does. Boom! Almost half of Azumarill's health is gone just like that, and it scares my opponent so badly that they shield that foul play. Sableye putting the fear of God into these Azumarills, and it's just so great. I really loved having this spice pick on my team of three. Sableye went down, out comes Deoxys, gonna go ahead and throw this rock slide. My hope is to land this rock slide here and then farm down with counters. Let's see if we can do it. My opponent's gonna squeeze out one more charge move. Azumarill just refuses to go away. Haunter is off the battlefield, so it's all up to this matchup right here. Uh, this is Altaria versus Registeel, and I have to be honest, I used Altaria to counter Reggie Steel more times than I can count in this video, and it's really wild stuff to see. My opponent does fire with that flash cannon, not a problem at all. I'm definitely going to shield the second one though. So we CMP tie here, so I'm going to have to wait to fire off my sky attack, but I think this is enough to bring down the Reggie Steel. Reggie goes down, Azumarill is extremely weak, and that is a KO. So we pick up one win in this set so far. Game three, we lead our defense Deoxys into Haunter. This is really bad, gotta get out of there. I go straight into Altaria here and that Dragon Breath is already adding up so quickly. I don't shield and it's the Shadow Punch, which is perfect. Out comes Registeel. Gonna try and do as much chip damage to this Registeel as possible, but I want you to take note of how healthy it is right now and how healthy it is by the end of this matchup. I'm telling you, it's a really counterintuitive thing, but I'm just gonna mention it one more time and I'll be done. This Altaria versus Registeel matchup is actually a lot closer than people think. So these Dragon Breaths are gonna add up really quickly and look at that, Registeel is bleeding down into the red. He's gonna hit me with one more Flash Cannon because he cannot afford any more damage. This leaves just a little bit of Registeel to farm, so I go ahead and I come in here with Sableye. So I know that energy is really important at this point in the battle. I like to get energy on Sableye more than Deoxys because it's going to get walled so hard by Haunter. In comes Meganium, we're going for return. Will this land, battlers? And it does. Look at that. Meganium is really worn out after just one strike from Return Sableye. He hits us with a Frenzy Plant. Out comes that Haunter to farm down the rest of Deoxys. And this is not a good situation for us, but we're going to force this first shield. 
with the rock slides. My opponent is going to continue the farm down. Out comes my Sableye. Got to call it Shadow Punch or Shadow Ball. And it's a sludge bomb. It's neither. Sableye is going to try to hold on here, but I absolutely have to shield. This is a really close match. Even with our return damage, that Meganium still has a shield, and they are able to vine whip us down. The climb continues in game four. This Deoxys goes into Altaria. So Deoxys actually loses the one shield and the two shield matchup. This is a really precarious thing because on paper, it doesn't look like Deoxys is going to do very well, but my entire goal here is to put enough pressure on my opponent to swap out or if they stay in I'm going to swap in with my Altaria and farm down. They actually swap out into their lantern and the interesting thing about this lantern is that it's a water gun lantern. It's not going to get to its charge moves very quickly hence we are able to get to the thunderbolt before it can even get to its own thunderbolt. That will bring that Altaria, or excuse me, that Lantern down very weak. I'm actually going to come in here with my Altaria and try to farm down the rest of Lantern, which we are actually able to do, which is really wild. My opponent thinks things over, they come in with their Altaria, but it's already extremely weak. That tells me that they might be really weak to flying in the back, so I'm actually going to shield up Altaria, Dragon Breath down, and then my opponent leaves the game. I assume they had either a Toxicroak or a Shift Tree or a Venusaur, but either way, we're going to win that one. Going to this game, a Deoxys into a Zoomerol. This is actually not a bad matchup. I just cannot afford to get hit by these Hydro Pumps. Going to go ahead and fire off the Thunderbolt here. That first one doesn't connect, so I'm going to match shields here with the uh, obvious kind of notion that my opponent's going to go for the Hydro Pump, and they do. Going to work up to another Thunderbolt and keep the pressure on. This one goes through, that Azumarill is now down into the yellow. All I really need to do at this juncture is land the Rock Slide, but I'm expecting another Hydro Pump, so we shield. We are out of shields early, but I really want to win Switch Advantage. Going to go ahead and fire off that Rock Slide, it does get shielded. My opponent is going to stay in here. I tried to time my swap. We go Altaria into Tropius at the same exact moment, and this is ideal for us. As you can tell here, the Sky Attack is going to take a huge chunk out of Tropius, and we are farming down with the Dragon Breaths. I can't tell because of all that Dragon Breath animation, but I believe this is a Razor Leaf Tropius, which I'm also seeing a ton of in rank 10 around the 3000 mark. Azumarill comes in to, to Ice Beam, Altaria, not a huge deal at all. I want energy here, so I'm actually going to come in with my Sableye. Going to try to farm down here, and we are barely able to do it. My opponent comes in here with Marowak, and we've got foul plays for days. Going to go ahead and fire this first one off, and then work up to a second one. And that is the third win of this set. Let's see how our ranking improved. We climb to 2998. So close. Let's get into the final set, battlers. Going into this game here, Defense Form Deoxys into Altaria. You know the plan, trainers. We're going to try to put pressure on this Altaria with the Rock Slides, but we cannot win this in a head to head matchup, so we need to try to grab these shields. That first one does go through. Altaria is going to go for the Sky Attack here, which I do shield. Going to go ahead and match shields here and make this matchup look closer than it is. My opponent does decide to shield the second one, and I'm going to match shields again. Going to go make a fast swap into Altaria to try to farm down. My opponent comes in with their Shiftry. This is really good for us. We are out of shield, so foul play is going to hit really hard, but at least we can force that final shield with our Altaria. My opponent does get to a charge move here, and this will be the foul play. One more is probably going to be enough, and we CMP tie. Shiftry does have a ridicul ridiculously high attack stat, so we'll win that, but we are barely able to survive. Sky attack is coming through clutch for us to bring down that Shiftry. My opponent comes in with a Zoomerol, and this is actually not good for us. Uh, still, this is a very precarious match. I go into Sableye to get some energy together. My opponent swaps into Altaria. Altaria trying to make a sack swap, but it doesn't work. Going to go for Thunderbolt here. This is a really exciting match. I remember this one, actually. I was really just blown away. My opponent is going to fire off the Ice Beam, but they do something very clever and undercharge the Ice Beam. I have to get to return to win this match. And we get there. This is going to rock this Azumarill's world, and we win the first game of this set. Going to this match, Defense Form Deoxys into Azumarill again, just like I mentioned in the previous set. A lot of Azumarill leads here, so I'm going to go straight for the Thunderbolt. I notice as well that a lot of trainers are running Rock Slide and Psycho Boost. That Psycho Boost is really helpful for hitting things like uh, Fighters, like Toxicroak, or even a Venusaur, a Poison type. 
but I'm deciding to run that Thunderbolt and Rock Slide just for this extra zoom roll coverage. I do force that first shield and we are at one shield each. Ash is going to shield this up and it will be a double Ice Beam. So that was not pretty for us, but we are going to try to make the best out of this matchup. I realize that the Hydro Pump is coming soon, but we are able to KO the Azumarill. Out comes Whiskash. So we don't have a Grass type on our team. This is not particularly good. And my opponent has access to Blizzard and I have an Altaria. So this is really bad. At this point in the battle, honestly, I thought that I had already lost. But we do some crazy stuff to come back. Gonna come in with Sableye, again, play the energy game. My opponent goes really quickly for this attack, so I just assume it's Mud Bomb, and it is. Gonna swap into Altaria here after my opponent goes into Skarmory, but I wanted to get some extra energy together beforehand. This is actually a really close matchup as well. These two top birds really go at it. I'm gonna go ahead and fire off the, the uh, Sky Attack here. I'm telling you, a lot of battlers don't expect for you to be packing return on Sableye and they don't know how much damage it does. I'm sure after this video, a lot of trainers are gonna go through through their inventory and try to find this, uh, but it's just really a gem. I throw the sky attack here against the Whiskash and guess what battlers? We draw that final shield, we come in with our Sableye straight for the return and it is going to smack the Whiskash for the win. Game three of the final set, we go with our Defense Deoxys into Altaria. Again, Battle, there's so many Azumarill and Altaria leads this high in the rankings. I'm actually going to decide to shield up this first Sky Attack and then throw the Rock Slide. Altaria does not shield, so we are down a shield, but we did a lot of damage. I'm gonna put even more pressure on with this next Rock Slide. My opponent does shield that one, so I fast swap into Altaria to try to farm down, but they come out with the Zoomerol. This is actually a very useful tactic for drawing out your opponent's Zoomerol. You just have to make sure, if you decide to run this team, that your Deoxys has enough health to deal with the Zoomerol. I think that's a mistake I make in this match. My opponent does hit us with the Play Rough, which allows us to get to another Sky Attack. A lot of crazy people are running Play Rough and Hydro Pump. I definitely think you need to either go Ice Beam, Hydro Pump, or Ice Beam, Play Rough, but some people are wild enough and good enough to pull it off. So we force that second shield, I come in with my defense form Deoxys, and I'm actually gonna save my shield here. I make a huge mistake in this battle, trainers. I just misplayed and overtapped there, but I forget that my opponent has play rough and I allow it through. That's such a, a dunce mistake, and that really cost me the match in the end. Out comes that Altaria, so we're gonna Shadow Claw it down, but again, if I would've saved my shield right there for the play rough, I think things would've been better. We still would've had to eat the Sky Attack, but out comes this Vigoroth, and that is GG's. My fourth opponent is Shmushif. He was the North American champion last year at GoFest. This is a really intense battle. Uh, just, it's so crazy. This close to the end, and I face off against the the past North American champion, just so wild. He brings in Galvantula, so I come in with my Altaria here, and Altaria really showing its metal as the best flying type is not going to take very much damage from Discharge at all, and we just straight up farm down. We are both at even shields. I've got a little energy on my Deoxys. In comes Umbreon. This is immediately a really bad matchup for us because nothing on my team really counters this Umbreon very well. I'm gonna go ahead and fire off another Sky Attack here with Altaria. And at this point, I think I need to give my Altaria shields because again, Deoxys is gonna take super effective from this. Sableye is not gonna wanna see it either. I actually give one shield to Altaria and I try to hold on to my second one. Shmushif is up two shields, so I come in here with my Deoxys, and there's really no option for a safe swap here. If I go into my Sableye, it's gonna get wrecked, so I do decide to shield. He is up two shields, but we finally bring down that Umbreon. His last Pokemon is that freaking Azumarill, and it's got two shields, so this is really bad news bears for us. I go into Sableye, hoping that maybe he wouldn't think it had return. He goes straight for Hydro Pump, though, and we are unable to get to the return. I think if we would have landed that, it might have been a little different, but he's just got all the advantages on his side. Gonna go ahead and throw another Hydro Pump, and Deoxys is gonna throw the final Rock Slide, but this is not gonna be enough. We lose to the past North American champion, and then we go to game five. This is the final game of this set, and in my mind, I know that if I lose this, I go negative, and I have to continue the climb. If I win it, we reach rank 10. Deoxys into that Azumarill here. Gonna go ahead and play this matchup the same way we've been playing it all night, straight for the Thunderbolt. I'm expecting the Hydro Pump here, and 
it is. So we definitely shielded that correctly. Gonna actually go for Rock Slide here. I'm gonna try to tempt my opponent into shielding. And they do not. Azumarill would have gone down via the Thunderbolt there, but either way, we're not gonna shield this attack and it would be another Hydro Pump. I actually mess up really badly there and I get KO'd by Azumarill's bubbles. So already not off to a great start. We did lose switch advantage. Out comes Altaria and here comes Sableye. Can I land this return? We actually are gonna bluff with Sableye, or excuse me, bluff with Sableye's foul play first. Shielding up that sky attack and we are putting it all on the line. My opponent does shield, which is great. Gonna work up to that return and fire it off. Will this land, battlers? And it does. We bring in our Altaria. My opponent's last Pokemon is Swampert, and I am starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel here. Swampert can hit us with two Sludge Waves, but we absolutely need to land at least one Sky Attack to seal up this game. We are pushing for that last Sky Attack, and Oh, we see MP Ty. Can Altaria survive a second Sludge Wave? And we can. Gonna go ahead and fire this off. I'm missing bubbles because I'm so nervous, but we still take down that Swampert and win the game. Rank 10 achieved battlers. Thank you so much to everybody who's been watching my Go Battle League content. I appreciate you so much. It means the world to me. Leave me a like if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you thought, uh, how your Go Battle League season one has gone. And then if you really love this and you wanna see much more content for season two, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me and I will see you in the next video.